be paradise again. Ain't no romance without finance. Let's make this place as chaotic as possible. The put spoon. How can write this down at the tomb of Kalini? I'm not your in-law. I'm not cut out for domestic work. And you still wonder why your marriage is in shambles? Una tumi aga moyo kufikiria badla akili. The wardens and the jemedaris will always be a family. And you, Christine, will remain to be an outsider. Ni kwa sababu kijana wangu alipatikana nakitaka kujinyonga. Nataka kujinyonga. Wewe eh. mkoro wa mine nimekuwa nikichapiaje kusuri batu kai chini. Nishakwambia mara nyingi usiniite mkoro. Wewe ni mkoro jo. Riba riba sijui interest ya shule. Ah eh. Ongea Kiswahili straight. Ah, ongea sa. Ongea ongea sen ambayo hata wewe mwenyewe utaelewa. Aga mimi nauliza mimi mimi nakuliza hii mambo ilikwenda tokea ukiwa wapi wewe wayo hata kuliza nilikuwa wapi wangazi wote tukae tena watoto wetu uwe mwanafiki wa mtoto kumuuliza mtoto kama kuna matatizo inaendelea pale shuleni imekuwa ni too much mheshimiwa Jumapili hii kwenye runinga ya KBC ungana naye askofu Michael Wanderi wa kanisa la Christian Foundation Fellowship Kiambu kuanzia saa moja hadi saa mbili asubuhi Ningetaka nikwambie our Jehovah God because the Bible says he is the same yesterday today and forevermore he is able to take you to a place of abundance he is able to take you to Rehobothi in the name of Jesus Christ Kipindi ni neno la neema ukiletewa naye askofu Michael Wanderi wa kanisa la Christian Foundation Fellowship Kiambu usikose love 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 is in there it's celebrated in all phones worldwide there is the Kenyan love it looks like it's Valentine's Day <laughs> the children's love The ladies love. I swear that I'm dying to feel myself in your arms. The gentleman's love. Love that is comic. No man in Dramatic. Please don't do this to me. I have to talk to her. Sporty. Breathtaking. Whatever your choice, let it rain this February with love. This is getting better, better and best. Only on KBC Channel 1. Linda familia na marafiki dhidi ya magonjwa The UHC coverage journey is on. NHIF is working under the guidance of the Ministry of Health in the UHC Step Up, which presents an opportunity to secure Kenyans access to quality health services without suffering financial hardship. So take the bold step today and safeguard your families by enrolling to NHIF to ensure health for all. Kwa majina mimi naitwa Aquila Sanayela Mako. Naishi Mamanga wakati wa games tukikaa tu hapo na wanafunzi wenzangu tukicheza nikaanza kusikia siki vizuri nikamweleza mama sasa mama madha kaniambia mbona ukusemanga nikamwambia niliogopa nikaenda na mwanga hospital nikapima akaona ugonjwa niko nayo sasa akasema heri upelekwe kajado madaktari akakuja kuni kunitibu akasema Manda akasema akaniambia utaenda kwa surgery. Walisema iko na iko na group. Nilienda kushughulikia hadi ya akaona kanda kutafia NHF ni mama tu anakuanga nayo lakini ugonjwa mnyenitibua hiyo kadi nisaidia sana. 
sio kama kama tungekuwa nayo sio tungetoka hapo lini ningependa kuambia serikali waendelee kutuletea hiyo kadi ya NHF kwa maana inatusaidia sana kila mtu ajitahidi na jikazi kisabuni ili waweze kudhibitisha na wapate hiyo NHF ndio waweze na huko ndio mtu akigonjeka juu juu siku yako kugonjeka na wewe upate hiyo kadi ndio ukipeleka hospital uweze kutibiwa linda familia na marafiki dhidi ya magonjwa kwa mtazamaji kwa kuendelea kuitegea runinga hii pendayo ya KBC Channel 1 kama ilivyo kawaida tunakutana hii leo kwenye darubini tukufahamishe mengi. Bila shaka jina langu ni Harith Salim hapo mengi ambayo tumekuandalia lakini ada ni ada tupate vidokezo. Na kwenye darubini leo vyama vya NAC na muungano vyaunga mkono azma ya kiongozi wa chama cha ODM Raila Odinga ya kuania urais. Naibu Rais William Ruto akanusha madai kwamba anashindana na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta katika kampeni zake alizopeleka kaunti ya Kiambu. Na watainiwa mtihani wa darasa la nane kutoka maeneo ambako usalama umedorora waitaka serikali kuhakikisha usalama wao baada ya majangili kushambulia msafara wa mabasi ya shule Elgeyo Marakwet. Na mtazamaji ndio manasi hadi tamati mtangazaji wetu ishara hii leo ni Susan Toko. Na naibu rais William Ruto amepuzilia mbali madai kuwa anashindana na rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Huku akijibu taarifa zilizochapishwa katika jarida moja la humu nchini kuwa anajaribu kumhujumu rais kupitia kwa marekebisho ya bajeti yaliyopendekezwa na bunge ya Kikuyu kimpigia wa Kikuyu kimaanisha ulipeleka kampeni zake katika kaunti ya Kiambu huko akionekana kujibu taarifa zilizochapishwa na jarida moja la humu nchini kuwa wanazozana na serikali kuhusiana na mapendekezo yaliyotolewa na mbunge wa Kikuyu Kimani Ishungwa katika bajeti ya kipindi cha kifedha cha mwaka 2022-23 muungano huo wa Kenya kwanza ukiongozwa na naibu wa rais William Ruto ulikanusha madai kuwa unashindana na rais ile budget inatengenezwa saa hizi ndio itakuwa implemented na serikali inayochaguliwa mwezi wa nane ni kweli ama si kweli so there is no contest of whatever nature between us and president uhuru kenyatta kundi hilo lilisema kuwa mapendekezo ya kimani ishuma yanalenga kuimarisha rasilimali zinazotengewa serikali za kaunti nchini na kufanikisha ahadi ya kutoa shilingi bilioni hamsini kwa wafanyabiashara wadogo wadogo katika bajeti ya serikali ijayo ambayo Ruto anatumai kuwa ataiongoza wale wafanyabiashara wote hasa wafanyabiashara wa hapa chini wale wanaitwa micro small and medium enterprise hawa ambao wameumizwa na fuliza hawa ambao wanaangaishwa na mashailo tumesema mwaka huu tunaweka pesa ya serikali kusaidia mwananchi mfanyabiashara wa chini we want to improve the economic status of the people of Kenya we want an economy that works for the small person and also for the big person jamhuri ya Kenya kundi hilo kadhalika lilimtahadharisha waziri wa fedha ukuri ya tani dhidi ya kukopa pesa zaidi kwa vile tayari taifa hili limezidisha kiwango cha kukopa pesa kilichowekwa na bunge these documents that you are going to sign in a hurry 
Kwa kipindi cha lala salama Mr. Yatani you will come to be haunted Hatutakubali serikali ambayo inastaafu kukopa madeni mengine kwa nchi yetu Saa hizi tuko na madeni yenye mkenya wa kawaida analipa Tafadhali kama nchi we cannot afford to borrow more Kenya yote kula si hasura kula si hasura Mungano huu wa Kenya kwanza ulitoa wito kwa wapiga kura katika eneo hilo kukataa ushawishi wa kundi la azimio ambalo walidai kuwa ni mradi wa kisiasa. John Jacob Curia, Darubini. Vyama vya NAC na muungano vimeunga mkono azma ya Raila Odinga kugombea urais. Vyama hivyo viwili ambavyo viliandaa kongamano la pamoja la kitaifa la wajumbe katika ukumbi wa Bomas vimesema vitaunga mkono azma ya Raila Odinga ya kumrithi rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Hayo tutayaleta kwa mapana marefu baadaye kidogo lakini sasa hivi tunaangazia masuala ya afya na baraza la magavana limeidhinisha kwa masharti kuongezwa kwa muda wa kandarasi ya mpango wa usimamizi wa vifaa vya matibabu. Magavana wamesema wanataka kuhusishwa kwenye masharti ya kazi na bajeti ya kandarasi hiyo ili kutatua masuala ya usawa. Magavana wanataka kuwa na mamlaka zaidi kwenye kandarasi ya mpango wa usimamizi wa vifaa vya matibabu ili kandarasi hiyo iongezwe muda wa miaka mitatu zaidi. Magavana wamependekeza kubuniwa kwa kundi la pamoja la kuamua kuhusu hatua ya kuongeza kwa muda wa miaka mitatu zaidi wa kuhudumu kwa mpango huo na kuafikiana kuhusu watakaohudumu kwenye kamati ya utekelezaji wa kandarasi hiyo. In considering the three options <coughs> The council acknowledges the impact the equipment has had on health service delivery to the people of Kenya and resolve to extend the contract for additional three years on the following conditions. One, that the council of governors and minister of health to jointly appoint a multidisciplinary negotiating team that will determine the three year contract extension kumekuwa na wasiwasi kuwa kaunti azipati dhamana ya pesa zao chini ya mpango huo kaunti kadhaa hazijaweza kutumia vifaa hivyo kwa matibabu licha ya kulipa mamilioni ya pesa that the council of governors and ministry of health shall review and consider modalities to compensate counties whose equipment were not delivered but fully paid for We also note that there are counties that received the equipment but for diverse reasons could not be able to use them. These shall be considered during negotiations while extending the contract. Kaunti zinalipa zaidi ya milioni 100 kila mwaka za kugaramia huduma za mpango huo. That the Council of Governors and the Minister of Health to review the budget to address equity concerns individual county government payments should be commensurate to the equipment received not a common fee paid by all na tukusonga mbele mtazamaji serikali na pania kutangaza marufuku ya kutoka nje usiku katika baadhi ya sehemu za North Rift kutokana na msururu wa mashambulizi ya majambazi yaloshuhudiwa katika eneo hilo akiongea wakati wa utoaji wa fulu kufuli ya damakasha ya mitihani ya kitaifa katika eneo la Loa Kabete hapa jijini Nairobi waziri wa usalama wa kitaifa Fred Matiangi aliwahakikishia wanafunzi watakaofanya mitihani ya kitaifa katika maeneo yanayokumbwa na visa vya utovu usalama kwa ma- mara kwa mara kuwa mikakati ya kutosha imewekwa ili kuhakikishia usalama wao kupata jana usingizi tuliama Eneo la North Rift limeshuhudia visa vya mara kwa mara vya utovu wa usalama katika siku za hivi majuzi huku wakazi wakilazimika kuondoka makazi yao. Jana jioni majambazi walimiminia risasi basi lilokuwa likisafirisha wanafunzi na walimu na kuwaje ruhi. Hata chana vichana walilala msutuni sisi tulilala msutuni hakuna hata kukula chakula na tuka asubuhi tukaamkia tukaona area ii ni wa, wanyama wa maenda baada ya wiki mbili nitazunguka na tuone ya kwamba tuangalie kama tumefanya kazi ki, kwa kiwango kani hadi wazazi kazi hiyo imefanyika watoto wanakuja shule trekking 15 km kuja shule kwa sababu wamehamama wame kwao 
Hali hiyo imewalazimu watahini wa mtiani katika eneo hilo kutoa wito kwa serikali kuhakikishia usalama kabla ya mitiani ya kitaifa itakayoanza mwezi ujao. Hata jana tulisikia marisasi tulikuwa shule tukasikia marisasi. Hatukus atul azusome vizuri kwa ishwa. So tunaomba serikali atusaidie. Masi Loting ambaye ni mtaini wa mtihani wa kitaifa wa darasa la nane katika shule ya msingi ya Kapturo ana wasiwasi kufuatia mashambulizi ya mara kwa mara katika sehemu hiyo akisema hali hiyo itaadhiri matokeo yake ya mtihani. Ningependa kuambia serikali watusaidie watupatie ili tukae kama wale wengine ambao wako mashule sahihi. Walimu wako lakini ni kufundisha tu ile wasiwasi. Akiongea leo katika eneo la Loa Kabete waziri wa usalama wa kitaifa Dr. Fred Matiangi aliwahakikishia wanafunzi usalama wao akisema serikali inatafakari kutangaza marufuku ya kutoka nje usiku katika baadhi ya sehemu za North Rift. Ruth Wamboi Darubini Kutoka kwa masuala ya usalama na elimu tunaangazia masuala ya mazingira sasa na shirika la kuhifadhi misitu hapa nchini limepokea msaada wa vifaa vya utunzaji wa misitu kutoka shirika la chakula na kilimo duniani katika juhudi za kuimarisha msitu wa kirisi ya taarifa hiyo kwa mapana marefu tuungane naye mwanahabari wetu Yusuf Fara Msitu wa kirisi ya kaunti ya Samburu kwa tegemeo kubwa kama chanzo cha maji kwa wakazi ukiwa na kubwa zaidi ya ekari 1991 Disemba mwaka 2019 waliokuepo hapa walihama kwa hiari ili kutoa fursa ya uimarishaji na uhifadhi wa msitu huu hasa kutokana na tishio la shughuli za binadamu na kumegwa kwa ardhi ya misitu Juhudi hizi zimepigwa jeki kutokana na vifaa vilivyotolewa na shirika la chakula duniani FAO vinavyopaniwa kutumika katika azma hiyo. In the project will continue supporting the issues of opening for roads because without proper access then you cannot deal with issues of security and even management. We are also going to have ranger houses because again we need to provide good environment for our ranger and enforcement officers who do great work. Beyond that as Kenya Forest Service we want to make Kirisi Adirogi Forest as a center of excellence one of the model forest stations especially in the arid semi arid areas that will be a key impetus for Kenya Forest Service to be able now to take control of the Madhu ledges and the Doto and the Nyiro and put another all the strong instruments and ma of management to help us to do so when i was also elected i said we have to support the program and we have to do it for ourselves and also for other generations so that we can protect our forest kwa sababu haisaidi nyinyi peke yenu haswa ni sisi when we started this conversation about 30% of this forest cover was actually uh, encroached and was uh, dilapidated or degraded if you may call it now we could be so happy to say that this situation is being reversed and very fast. Shirikiano huu kati ya shirika la huduma za misitu na FAO unanuia kurejesha hali ya zamani ya msitu katika maeneo athirika kama Naramat na ile Punye na Nkaro. Mhifadhi mkuu wa misitu nchini Kenya Julius Kamau amesema shirika hilo litazidi kupiga jeki hatua za kuulinda msitu huu ili vizazi vya sasa na vile vya baadaye vipate kunufaika. Yusuf Far ni kiripoti ya Darubini kutoka katika msitu wa Kirisia county ya Samburu. Na mtazamaji kufikia hapo tunakwenda mapumziko. Linda familia na marafiki dhiri ya magonjwa. The UHC coverage journey is on. NHIF is working under the guidance of the Ministry of Health in the UHC Step Up, which presents an opportunity to secure Kenyans' access to quality health services without suffering financial hardship. So take the bold step today and safeguard your families by enrolling to NHIF to ensure health for all. <laughs> Kiteza nikaanza kusikia. Siki vizuri. Kamueleza mama. Sasa mama madhaka madha, madha, niambia mbona ukusemanga. Kamwambia niliogopa. Sikaenda na mwanga hospital. 
nikapima akaona ugonjwa niko nayo sasa so, akasema heri upelekwe kajado madaktari akakuja kuni kuni kunitibu akasema tu manda akasema akaniambia utaenda kwa surgery walisema iko na iko na growth nilienda kushughulikia hadi ya akaona kanda kutafia NHF mama tu anakuanga nayo lakini ugonjwa mimi nilitibiwa hiyo kadi nilisaidia sana ndio kama kama tungekuwa nayo sijui tungetoka hapo lini ningependa kuambia serikali waendelee kutuleta hiyo kadi ya NHF kwa maana inatusaidia sana kila mtu ajitahidi na jikazi kisabuni ili waweze kudhibitisha na wao wapate hiyo NHF ndio waweze na huko ndio mtu akigonjeka juu juu siku yako kugonjeka na wewe upate hiyo kadi ndio ukipeleka hospital uweze kutibiwa linda familia na marafiki dhiri ya magonjwa ili kupata wewe si wakale kama sikiza tune kwenye simu yako dial star 811 star 965 hash wewe si wakale usibaki pale pale akikujaza imani tele utafika kwa kilele maana hata imekuwa mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo amekuwa kiumbe kipya ya kale yamepita na tazama yamekuwa mapya kupata wewe si wakale onyeza star 811 star 965 hash kumbuka ni star 811 star 965 hash Do you have a new story to share with KBC? Get in touch swiftly on email news@kbc.co.ke or call 0723-892-654 or 0734-780-124. Karibu mtazamaji tunaelekea kufahamisha mengi kwenye darubini Ijumaa hii. Tume ya uiano na utangamano wa kitaifa imetoa wito kwa wanasiasa kukoma kutoa matamshi ambayo yanaweza kutumbukiza taifa hili katika machafuko ya kisiasa. Tume hiyo imesema kuwa viongozi wanapaswa kudhihirisha mienendo na maadili ya viwango vya juu kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu ujao na kutumia mikutano ya kisiasa kunadi ajenda zao kwa Wakenya badala ya kuwachochea kuzua machafuko. Tume ya uiano na utangamano wa kitaifa imekamilisha zoezi la kutambua maeneo ambayo yanakabiliwa na uwezekano wa kukumbwa na ghasia za kisiasa nchini kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu wa tarehe tisa mwezi Agosti mwaka huu. Kwa mujibu wa tume hiyo kaunti 23 zimetambuliwa kuwa na uwezekano wa kukumbwa na ghasia zikiwemo Kisumu, Wasingishu na Nakuru miongoni mwa nyingine. Counties that are likely to witness likely not must likely to witness election related violence as a result of this ncic has mapped 23 counties um, which have been identified as conflict uh, likely hotspot and these are kisumu mombasa nairobi migori Kericho, Isiolo, Lamu, Bungoma, Kakamega, Vihiga, Transoia, Marsabit, Kiambu, Nyamira, Homa Bay, Nandi, Bomet, Muranga, Kirinyaga, Gariza, Siaya huku ikisema kuwa maeneo yote yaliyotambuliwa yana watu wa kutoka matabaka mbalimbali tume hiyo imeanzisha mchakato wa kutoa uhamasisho ili kuwafahamisha wakazi katika maeneo hayo kuhusu muhimu wa kuishi pamoja kwa amani kabla wakati na baada ya uchaguzi we reached also 662 persons among these 300 being aspiring political leaders those who are going to be looking for posts in the next coming general elections we reach out to them and train them on these areas of doing things ask for leadership in a peaceful manner Mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo ya uiano na utangamano wa kitaifa Reverend Samuel Kobia alitoa wito kwa wanasiasa kuhubiri amani na kukoma kwa chochea wa Kenya kujihusisha na ghasia Our observation is that uh, a little earlier on 
there was an attempt to deal with the issues and uh, uh, you know of course there were promises etc but of late we have seen politicians going personal this is very dangerous and it should not be allowed we want to encourage politicians to stay with the, with, 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 with the issues with the ideologies etc but not to go personal Khalid Abdullahi Darubini na wanaume wanne wameshtakiwa kwa kupanga njama ya kumuua mwanachama bunge la kaunti ya Nairobi Jaira Somaya wanne hao ambao walifikishwa mbele ya kibo mkuu wa milimani Susan Chitubi walikanusha mashtaka hayo lakini upande wa mashtaka ukapinga kuachiliwa kwao kwa dhamana ufuatao ni mkusanyiko wa habari kutoka mahakamani right. Wanne hao ambao ni pamoja na Josephat Makani, Olson Okomo, Kelvin Chakuto na Wycliffe Mugani walishtakiwa katika mahakama ya milimani kwa makosa mawili ya kupanga njama ya kutekeleza mauaji. Inadaiwa kuwa mnamo tarehe 4 mwezi huu wakiwa mahali pasipojulikana nchini, wakiwa na watu wengine ambao hawakuwa mbele ya mahakama, walipanga njama ya kumuua Jairus Omaya ambaye ni mwakilishi wa wodi ya Linde katika eneo la Kibra County ya Nairobi. Walipofika mbele ya kimo mkuu Susan Shitobi walikanusha mashtaka dhidi yao na upande wa mashtaka ukapinga kwa chilio kwao kwa dhamana. Wakati wa huo Martin Ocheng Opondo ameshtakiwa kwa makosa saba ya udanganyifu ambayo ni pamoja na kugoshi hati ya umiliki wa kipande kimoja cha ardhi huko Nakuru kugoshi taarifa ya akaunti ya benki ya Chess na kugoshi stakabadhi moja ya ununuzi kutoka kiwanda cha kutayarisha nyama hapa nchini. Opondo alikanusha mashtaka dhidi yake na kuachiliwa kwa bondi ya shilingi milioni mbili au dhamani shilingi la kinane pesa taslim Hatimaye afisa mmoja wa polisi Evans Kemboi ameshtakiwa kwa makosa ya kumshambulia mtu mmoja inadaiwa kuwa mnamo usiku wa tarehe 25 mwezi Septemba mwaka 2020 katika kituo cha polisi cha Jogorod alimshambulia na kumjeruhi Nixon Kiruta Gitao na kuharibu gari lake alikanusha mashtaka dhidi yake na kuachiliwa kwa bondi ya shilingi 1020 sarafu na robi darubini na tunarejelea masuala ya siasa tena na kwamba ni kwamba vyama vya NAC na muungano vimeunga mkono azma ya Raila Odinga ya kugombea urais. Vyama hivyo viwili ambavyo viliandaa kongamano la pamoja la kitaifa la wajumbe katika ukumbi wa Bomas vimesema vitaunga mkono azma ya Raila Odinga ya kumrithi rais Uhuru Kenyatta. You have reached the point where you are interested in self actualization. You have no personal agenda, kuna agenda ya kibinafsi. Unataka kupeleka inji to the middle economy status. Na wewe huna vendetta politics. Andio tunaona ukicheza mpira na watoto na grandchildren watoto you have no interest in vendetta and that's why even the representative of business said business will be safe with you. And that is why you have earned the name Baba. And that is a name that you deserve. We want to be able to grow our economy but for us to be able to grow our economy ndio tusonge mbele tunahitaji serikali na siasa ambazo ni nzuri the ones that can take us forward kwa hivyo hii ni jambo ambalo tumekutana hapa kusema kwamba ni wakati wa mabadiliko ya kina and i want to say here we do not coalesce around everybody if you ask us to coalesce around some people who have no idea where they can take kenya we will be lying to you We only coalesce around people who think like us who want to help Kenya to go forward. This I want to assure you it's a welcome move and it is going to help us to fashion this coalition. This coalition is an inclusive coalition. It's a coalition of the willing and it's a coalition that is meant to bring about change in our country to complete the economic revolution in our country to empower the people of Kenya.
Na mtazamaji kwenye biashara dhamani ya bidhaa za Kenya zinazouzwa katika mataifa ya nje itaongezeka kwa shilingi milioni moja kila mwaka baada ya kampuni ya New KCC kutia sahihi mkataba na kampuni moja ya Omani kuhusu uuzaji wa maziwa huko katika kipindi cha miaka mitano ijayo. Mwenyekiti wa shirika la mauzo ya Kenya ugenini Jaswinda Bedi amesema lipo soko kubwa la bidhaa za Kenya katika mataifa ya wanachama wa baraza na ushirikiano wa guba katika ambalo halijatumika ipasavyo miongoni mwa bidhaa hizo ni maua nguo nyama na samaki huapa mseto wa biashara Shirika la mauzo ya bidhaa za Kenya ugenini limetambua biashara bidhaa na masoko muhimu zinazoweza kustawishwa ili kupigia kibiashara kati ya Kenya na mataifa wanachama wa baraza la ushirikiano wa Ghuba yakiwemo Bahrain, Iraq, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi na muungano wa milki za Kiarabu Mwenyekiti wa shirika hilo Jaswinder Bedi amesema sekta ya kilimo biashara hususan kilimo cha maua inatoa fursa nyingi kwa Kenya kukuza bidhaa zake katika mataifa hayo. We have a, a, a agri economy, agri based economy. Yeah, but agri business is big. So we that is the reason that yesterday we looked at floriculture as a big opportunity because the flower export to the UAE are very small. We only do 6% of what they are importing. Tactics can we enhance our business. We're looking at meat as another sector. We're looking at horticulture as another sector. So by and large our core competence and strength and if you see tea, I mean tea is a 1.4 billion dollar export for us. Kwingineko wa kulimo wataweza kupata habari kuhusu kilimo kupitia simu zao za rununu kufuatia ufadhili wa kampuni ya mbolea kutoka Norway Yara. Hatua hiyo inalenga kuimarisha hamasa na huduma za kilimo nyanjani. Wakulima wa kaunti ya Bungoma wametaja changamoto kupata upataji habari muhimu kuhusu kilimo na gharama juu ya pembejeo kwa vizingiti katika juhudi za kuboresha mapato yao. Na kwa mkulima yeyote ambaye anataka kujisajili kati ya katika mpango mzima wa Africa Connect, tunamhimiza uh, aweze ku dial uh, hii namba ambayo ni free nambari uh, nambari yenyewe hatozwi hela yote wakati anapiga na ni 08 0027200 517 Mwishowe wa Kenya idadi ya wanaotafuta huduma ndani ya benki imepungua kilinganisho na awali kwa mujibu utafiti wa chama cha wenye benki humu nchini wateja sita kati ya kumi wa benki wanatumia huduma za kidijitali idadi ya wa Kenya walio na akaunti nyingi za benki pia imepungua kutoka asilimia saba hadi asilimia mbili katika kipindi cha mwaka mmoja uliopita Fanye vitu offline Chungeni gadgets na sites wana use Si watch strangers wapate chance kuwa abuse Nimeshingate peso kompe sija participate Unadai info yangu na ikwe private say Identity yangu haupati ya utumi Kizi zangu ni zangu na bado ntazi shikilia na postoria to the real news mimi si kwa mimi mpaka nione sasa hizo news una text only to me to my feel that is all so I'm in the group for real where see to chase at the smart so where to chase wazazi watu wengi na maiti wetu don't be fooled get cyber smart and enjoy safe entertainment and education online the communications authority of kenya mawasiliano kwetu nguvu kwako Karibu kwenye habari za sporti mimi naitwa Timothy Kipnusu Mkurugenzi wa mashindano ya gofu ya Magical Kenya Open Patrick Abath amewataka mashabiki kujitokeza kwa wingi ili kushabikia timu ya Kenya mashindano haya siku tatu yataandaliwa katika klabu ya Mudhaiga kuanzia tarehe 3 hadi 5 mwezi Machi mwaka huu 
Akizungumza wakati wa kuwasilishwa kwa hudi ya udhamini ya shilingi milioni na sita kutoka kwa bengi ya Absa, Mkurugenzi wa Mashindano ya Maji kwa Kenya Open Patrick Obath alisema kuwa mashabiki watakuwa muhimu kwa kikosi cha Kenya mashindanoni. The number of national invites who are not members of the European tour is limited to eight. In fact, it is normally six. Um, so the number we've actually had an increase by the European tour to increase it to eight. Um, and already, so that, that, that is already a concession they've given us. I don't think we'll get any more than that number. Matamshi yake yaliungwa mkono na mkurugenzi mkuu wa benki ya Absa Jeremy Awar ambaye alisema kuwa mashindano hayo yataonyesha kiwango cha mchezo wa gofu humu nchini. This is not just a pure golfing event. We are also inviting the public to come in, our customers to come in uh, so that we can host them for this event and really build up the sport. Um, and then we have another few announcements that you'll hear later in the week um, where we're talking about the things we can do uh, in the environment. Mashindano hayo ya siku tatu yataandaliwa katika kilabu cha Mudhaiga kuanzia tarehe tatu hadi tarehe tano mwezi Machi mwaka huu ambapo Kenya itawakilishwa na wachezaji wa nane. Kukineko bingwa wa olimpiki wa mbio za marathoni Eliud Kipchoge atarejea nchini Japan kushiriki mbio za marathoni za Tokyo tarehe sita mwezi machi Kipchoge alifadhi taji ya marathoni ya michezo ya olimpiki katika barabara za Sapporo wakati wa michezo hiyo ya mwaka ulfu mbili na ishirini Kipchoge anapania kurejea Japan kushiriki mbio za marathoni za Tokyo kwa mara ya kwanza mwana redhia huyo anayishikilia rekodi ya dunia ya mbio za marathoni atajumuika na mwenzake Jonathan Korir Laban Korir na Ashete Bekeri aidha Philemon Kacharan na Noah Kipkemboi watakuwa wana riadha wa kuweka kasi Kilele cha michuano ya raga ya Kenya Cup kinakaribia huku timu mbalimbali zikiwa ni ya nafasi za mwanzo mabingo wa tetezi KCB wanaoshikilia nafasi ya pili kwenye msururu huo kesho watachuana na Strathmo Leos katika uwanja wa Roraka Mabingwa wa tetezi KCB watakabiliana na Strathmore Leos huku wana benki yao kinu ya kuendeleza msuru wa matokeo bora wa mechi nane bila kushindwa. Kwa upande mwingine Strathmore Leos inatarajia kuandikisha ushindi baada ya matokeo ya kuridhisha dhidi ya Cabra Sugar. Kwa sasa KCB inashikilia nafasi ya pili kwenye msuru huo kwa alama 40 huku Strathmore Leos ikiwa ya nne kwa alama 29 na tayari wamejikatia tiketi ya michuano ya nusu finali. I don't think the finals the semifinals is secured yet because the league is still is still on. Uh, yes, two big games uh, coming up this weekend Strathmolios and uh, finally Cabarras. Uh, we want to get maximum points so that uh, we can go into the league on a high. Uh, the 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 slot we, we still we still have to fight for a better slot. Uh, if we win if we win all the games with the bonus point we might be top and uh, have a home 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 final. Mjini Kakamega kutakuwa na michuano miwili chuo kikuu cha Masinde Muliro kitachuwa na Mwamba huko Vinara Kabra Sugar wakabiliana na Homeboys kwenye michuano mingine Kenya Hali Queens itacheza na Top Fry Non Scripts ichuana na Impala huko Menengai Oilers ikabiliana na Black Blood Tuwagane na habari hizo za kabumbu tutupie jicho Ndondi ambapo James Kasongo wa timu ya Ndondi ya Prisons A alifuzu kwa nusu finali baada ya kumlemea Agola Odondi wa Meru katika kitengo cha Light Middle huku mashindano ya kitaifa ya Novis yakiingia siku ya pili katika ukumbi wa Chata mjini na Nairobi. <tos> Kwa hapo sina la ziada ila kukunza jamvi langu la habari za sport mimi naitwa Timothy Kipnosu tucheze tena Juma lijalo na rejesha usukani kwa wenzangu waweze kutamatisha
Sante, sante. Uh, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Kuna watu ambao huzungumzwa na watu wengine. Kwamba yule bingwa yule unajua wana yuko hivi na hivi na vile kutokana na makosa ya kitambo. Japo mtu anajaribu kujirekebisha lakini utakuta watu wanamzungumza kwa ubaya. Nafikiri ushasikia na kuona watu kama hao wanaozungumzwa na watu wengine. Sasa katika maisha usiache kitu wa ukoso ulilifanya siku zilizopita ama miaka iliyopita ya kushike mateka makosa yale. Badilika tazama mbele leta mabadiliko watu wapate kunufaika lakini usisikize la watu wanaokusema wacho wasema madamu unajua kwamba umebadilika ni katika mabadiliko yako utajinufaisha wewe na wenzako basi wewe songa mbele bila shaka kwa sababu wengine wanasema ah huyu anajifanya tu lakini si alikuwa mwizi bana ama alikuwa nani alikuwa mm -hmm. kwa mambo kama haya yanakuwa yanavunja moyo mtu anajaribu kadri ya uwezo wake kujibadilisha katika maisha yake lakini wewe ndio mwanzo mm -hmm. unajaribu kumdidimiza kwa hiyo wazee wa imaza kale wanasema usijaribu kum, ku, 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 kumzungumzia mtu ku, kutokana na yale ya zamani, zamani. mtu amebadilika amebadilika kwa hiyo hapa ndipo wanaposema kwamba mti hubadilisha matawi na sio mizizi mti hubadilisha matawi sio mizizi inabakia ile ile kwamba ndiyo alifanya kosa na. lakini kwenda mbele yale matawi yanachanua mandhari inakuwa ya kupendeza na mambo kama yale kwa hiyo inafaa pia tufurahie mambo kama yale na hiyo ndiyo akiba yetu siku ya leo. Na bila shaka mtazamaji natumai kuwa umeweza kujifunza mawili matatu hapo na shukran kwa kutazama kama ilivyo kawaida. Tunashukuru jina langu ni Nancy Onyancha mtangazaji wetu ishara alikuwa Susan Thuku tukutane wiki ijayo maji leo. Alamsi. making me look right now. What do you want from me, Richard? When I'm cool, calm, and collected, you say that I'm mechanical. When I show you just a little emotion, you tell me that I'm being dramatic. What do you want? I want out. Sorry about the breakup. Why are you acting like this? This is not going to work out. And I appreciate